everyone, welcome to the Angry Astronaut Gamer episode 4 of our Starfield playthrough with our protagonist Onimuru Takeshi. Uh, we had just joined the, uh, what do you call it, the Explorer people, I forget their name already. Um, and uh, we were just doing some side quests to level up before going into the main storyline. So we had helped our bartender Nisa, Nisa, however you say your name, um, find some uh, pounded ingredients um, that you see security had uh, confiscated. Uh, because the person transporting to her had uh, other illegal materials. So we helped her attain that back, and, you know, got, got free drinks for life basically and got to level 4. Um, now we are just kind of exploring the city and maybe picking up a couple more side quests uh, before we enter out into the universe. Hope you enjoy. I believe one of our side quests we had was with the UC security. Um, and we had to help out like, the equivalent of uh, the CIA for the UC security. So we're going to help an intel officer, uh, you know, once I can find them. Looking like a little espionage. critiques of this game which I agree with is uh, the lack of city maps um, it would definitely be easier to navigate with that I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss Agent the details Plato. of my division's work the security of the United Colonies is every citizen's responsibility but... ah right you're sergeant Yumi's recruit you're taller than I expected <laughs> been drinking milk Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it, and are using it to identify field agents. Normally we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Take the net to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Seems simple enough. What could go wrong? You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. Good luck with the mission. Thanks, Plato. a single credit for public transportation, so, you know, whatever they're doing is pretty cool. So far I haven't gotten jumped, so that's good. be getting side quests is usually just like your career. The petition doesn't say we want to kick people out of the well. Just that there should be more oversight. You going to sign? Hey, you see what I got here? How's the investigation? 
still have questions? Go ahead. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. Literally just delivered that a package. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Oh yeah, once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. He knew every rule, every procedure, and on top of that was a pinpoint marksman. But he lacked exactly what you are talking about. Initiative. He ended up transferring to a desk job after a year. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Nice, all right. All right, so I'm cutting out a couple of things of me going through menus and stuff. Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees. Sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that. Sounds like another side quest. How are you today? What? Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Um, I apologize for, for snapping. No, I'm definitely not all right. I've got work to do at the embassy. And our overly diligent security officer over there won't let me enter the city. Claims I need a diplomatic visa, which I have never needed before in all the time I've visited New Atlantis. <laughs> well, good luck. Oh, really? And here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Freestyle Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do. <sighs> Fine. Seems like I'm at everyone's mercy today. Sorry, bud. I don't work for free. I got an hourly rate. Okay, so I actually don't know. I don't think I'm going to be like an evil character, but I definitely am not going to be a goody two-shoes. I think I'll be somewhat chaotic neutral or maybe just plain neutral. I think I got we'll you scanned as you enter the city. Let's go down there. Oh, job, okay.
Sounds like Elon Musk Neuralink. Probably just as evil. Do I really want to work for that? actually feels like a real job application. Nope. To become part that. of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. So it's a little confusing when you have all these like points of interest that are marked, like which one is supposed to be your like your main quest that you're going to write. I would think it'd make more sense to only highlight the one that you have currently active, but I guess those other things are like side quests too. This guy over here probably has a side quest. Kelton, what's up? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? So what I say, side quests or are you being a courier? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. That's cool. Looks like there is a fast travel at least. Remember that was convenient in Skyrim. I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Oh, really? Well, I really don't want to leave this unresolved. So I'll take you up on that. What I need sounds like it should be almost boring by your standards. I can talk you through it remotely, so I'll head over to the monitoring station. I just need you to fix the junction box over near UC Surplus and power it down. We'll see how that reroutes things. Sounds simple enough. See, that first option there was part of my one of the traits I picked in the character creation. I don't think I, I think I cut that part out of the first or second episode. But yeah, I'm a hacker, cyberneticist kind of guy. Here. I'm not gonna cry, but who are we 
kidding. We'll come back to that quest once I figure out where else to go. going in in circles quite a bit. Um, I, I definitely got a little confused with all the points of interest and lack of map, so I cut most of that out here. Um, and uh, yeah, save you guys the riveting footage of me being lost and running in circles. We'll check you at the elevators. Try not to make a fuss. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? <sighs> Typical UC security. They try to bully us every chance they get and still manage to play the victim. I get this squared away with the folks down at the spaceport. Thanks for letting us know. I mean, I'm technically UC security also. Alright, so I fumbled around it quite a bit again, uh, but it looks like I managed to finally find one of these, like, uh, egg sensor things for the scientist guy. Anytime I get lost or, you know, walk around in circles, I'll just cut it out so you guys don't have to see too much of that. say I wish the points of interest like on your active quest would be I don't know highlighted better than all the other ones because it is a little bit confusing when you have I guess too many quests and uh, all the points of interest are highlighted on your map at the same time. And 
that's just where you apply for a job. Okay. The region. Yeah, okay. Dating, it would never work. I mean, at least we have fast travel in this game. Let's go see what this is. Hopefully, not another. Not someone I've been to already. Oh, okay. Little kid. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? Hey, Jordan. I've only found one so far, but I <laughs> want to find more. Where are you going, man? Else does. So, if you see some, can you tell me? Sure, I'm right here though. Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution <laughs> bought the one I found. Right. She said she might buy more if I can find them. That's gotta be a glitch. I could really use the credits. He's looking for eggs too. I know your type. Freewheeling space ace. Must be nice. slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. All I've done yep. is deliver stuff, but okay. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. All right, I guess we're dealing with the some drama. Over in the residential district, caters to a very fancy clientele. It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes, depending on the food. Classic rich people, I guess. Take care. I do hope you all of our signature dishes are unique to the roost. You won't find anything like them anywhere else. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Well, the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the Saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner, with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine... You see where I'm going with this. But this time the two had barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. 
right. Enjoy the rest of your so day. It looks like where you see security is a soap opera referee. It's a nice restaurant. Good atmosphere, nice decor. It's like lo fi music. Makes a great steak. Items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Wow. That's not too much. I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. They did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. You're always welcome back. If you don't well, mind a bit of a wait. Let's see if I can take it back. Yeah, you're right. You know what? It's not worth it. And that's how it's done. No funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic here. Oh, that boost pack? Finally back with our son. Just got some frames where I was walking. <laughs> I don't need to be pushy. I really do need that additional data. Recent scans of the tree have suggested that a significant portion of the interior has liquefied. Obviously, some small percentage of its internal workings is always liquid to allow for the transfer of nutrients and so forth, but this, well, I've never seen anything like it. If it continues to increase, I'm concerned the entire tree may collapse. And I'm also worried about other secondary effects. If the time comes, I will certainly attempt to alert the appropriate people in mast. If I have more data, though, my concerns might carry some more weight. It's too soon to speculate. I'd very much like to see the additional data before I say more. I appreciate your confidence. The sooner I have all the available data, the sooner I can make an assessment. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. All right, Mr. And Hilton. just another moment. 5G. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, 
It's... Oh my. Well, there's good news and bad news. Good news is another The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. So the tree is singing. Well, I think I've run around the city enough for this uh, episode here, guys. Uh, Animura Takeshi's courier services is fulfilled for today, and we'll continue on the next one. Hope you like and enjoy this content, and hopefully there'll be more actions <laughs> soon. Uh, but like and subscribe, appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.